Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, we will be talking about rational expressions. In these lessons, we will look into simplifying rational expressions, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing rational expressions. Working with rational expression is a lot like working with fractions. In both cases, you look for like denominators and simplify by eliminating factors. To find common denominators, you will need to know how to multiply polynomials. And to simplify, you will need to know how to factor. Let's start with simplifying rational expressions. In simplifying rational expressions, all you need to do is remember how to simplify a fraction. Let's try an example. Simplify the expression 2x squared plus 4x all over 4x squared. Here, a 2x can be factored out of both the numerator and denominator. 2x squared plus 4x all over 4x squared. So 2x times x plus 2 for the numerator and 2x times 2x for the denominator. Once it is factored out, canceling this term will give the simplified expressions of x plus 2 all over 2x. So we cancel the common the common factor. Let's try another example. Simplify the expression x squared minus x minus 6 all over x squared plus x minus 2. Okay, first factor out both the numerator and denominator. So factoring, using reversing FOIL, we have for the numerator, x minus 3 times x plus 2. And for the denominator, we have x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now you can see that the numerator and the denominator share a factor of x plus 2. So the simplified form is x minus 3 over x minus 1. Another example is simplify the expression x squared plus 4x all over x plus 4 squared. Here, again, factor out both the numerator and denominator. Okay, factoring them out, we have x times x plus 4 all over x plus 4 times x plus 4. Then, uh, canceling the common factor, the final answer is x over x plus 4. And now, let's proceed to adding and subtracting rational expressions. When you were adding and subtracting fraction, you were able to add the numerators whenever the denominators were the same. The same holds true when adding and subtracting rational expression. Just as with fraction, if the denominators are not the same, you must find the common denominator before completing the, the problem. Let's try with the first example. Add 3x plus 5 over x minus 1 plus 2x minus 9 over x minus 1. Now the denominator here are the same, so we just simply add the numerator and copy the denominator. So we have 3x plus 5 plus 2x minus 9 over x minus 1. And then simplifying by combining like terms, we have 5x minus 4 over x minus 1. Let's have a subtraction example. 
Okay, x minus 1 over x plus 7 minus x minus 6 over x plus 7. Since the denominator are the same, so we can just proceed to subtracting the numerator. So subtracting the numerator, we have x minus 1 minus uh, x minus 6 over 7. Then continue wing with the process, we have x minus 1 minus x plus 6 over x plus 7. Simplifying, we have 5 over x plus 7. Now, when two rational expressions do not share the same denominator, like the next example, you will need to find the common denominator. One trick to do this is first to check if one of the denominator is a factor of the other. If so, the larger expression is the common denominator. If not, you can always multiply the two expressions to find a common denominator. So first, let's check if one of the denominator is a factor of the other. So, As you can see, the factor of x squared minus 4 is x minus 2 times x plus 2. So it means x minus 2 is, is a factor of x squared minus 4. So then, we will use x squared minus 4 as a common denominator so continuing with the procedure we have x plus 1 over x squared minus 1 plus x minus 1 and x over x minus 2 both of them were multiplied by x plus 2 x plus 2 so that they will have the same denominator simplifying we have x squared minus 4 as the common denominator and then adding the, the numerator. We have x plus 1 plus x squared plus x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. Simplifying, we have x squared plus 2x minus 4 over x squared minus 4. Let's try another example. Subtract x minus 2 over x minus x plus 1 over x minus 3. Here, x is not a part of x minus 3 or not a factor of x minus 3, so we can multiply the two expressions to find a common denominator. So by multiplying them, we have x times x minus 3 as the common denominator. And then uh, and both fraction must be rewritten by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the missing piece. So after simplifying both numerators, proceed to subtraction since the denominator are already the same. So x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x squared minus 3x minus x squared plus x over x squared minus 3x. Then we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus x squared plus x all over x squared minus 3x. Continuing with the operation, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus x squared minus x over x squared minus 3x. Simplifying, the final answer is negative 6x plus 6 over x squared minus 3x. So that's it with addition and subtraction of rational expressions. Let's proceed to multiplying rational expression. When multiplying rational expressions, a common denominator like in addition and subtraction is not necessary anymore. Instead, the expressions are always multiplied straight across. 
Sometimes you will need to simplify the result before you have a final answer. As before, you will use cross cancelling to simplify before multiplying to make things easier. Let's see it using an example. Multiply 2 over x times x minus 6 over x squared. So multiplying across, we have 2 times x minus 6 over x cubed, because x times x squared is x cubed. Then we've got the final answer as 2x minus 12 over x cubed. So it looks like multiplying rational expressions is not as complicated as adding and subtracting unlike denominators. Let's try another example. Multiply x minus 1 over x plus 2 times x minus 1 over x plus 4. Multiplying across, okay, we have x minus 1 times x minus 1, x plus 2 times x plus 4. And then the answer is x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 6x plus 8. Let's try another example. Before multiplying, notice that x squared minus 4 can be factored out into x plus 2 and x minus 2. This means that there are terms that can be cross-canceled. That should be your first step. So we can cross cancel x minus 2 and x minus 2, leaving us x plus 2 and over x minus 1 on the first uh, rational expression and x plus 2 over 1 on the second uh, rational expressions. Then multiplying across, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 over x minus 1. Let's proceed to dividing rational expressions. Dividing rational expressions are divided with the same flip and multiply rule you use with fractions. Rewrite the division as a multiplication problem in which the first expression is multiplied by the reciprocal of the second. Let's look at an example. So we have x minus 5 over x divided by 2 over x squared. Then flip and multiply. So we have x minus 5 over x times x squared over 2. We flip, we flip the, the 2 over x squared. And then, and then cross cancel if possible. So we can cross cancel x and x squared. So we have x minus 5 over 1 times x over 2. And then multiply across, giving us the final answer of x squared minus 5x over 2. Another example is x minus 5 over x plus 1 divided by x minus 6 over x plus 4. Flip and multiply. So let's uh, flip x minus 6 over x plus 4. We have x minus 5 over x plus 1 times x plus 4 over x minus 6. And then cross cancel if possible. But here there are no terms that can be cross canceled. So let's proceed to multiply across. We have x squared minus x minus 20 over x squared minus 5x minus 6 as the final answer. So that's the end of this video. If you have any question or you did not understand part of the presentation, you can comment below. If you want to know more about Phuket Pulse, you can visit www.phuketpulse.org or you can contact us through our Facebook or call us on 081-417-0978.